Did you know that oxygen is the natural anti-inflammatory? But before this can make any sense, we need to talk about plumbing. First, how oxygen shortage triggers inflammation in your plumbing. Second, how that inflammation creates an energetic brownout in your cells. Third, why the brownouts are a problem. And fourth, how do we fix the plumbing and the brownout by squirting oxygen down your pipes? Imagine yourself as a cell in your vascular system, and you're part of a pipe that carries blood. But all the oxygen on those red blood cells zooms by destined for faraway cells. It's moving too fast for you to use. So you're like a fish in a fishbowl and breathe the oxygen dissolved in the water called plasma. Now let's imagine some stress that crashed the oxygen supply in your plasma. When the oxygen runs out, you'll switch to anaerobic and when your glucose runs out, your metabolism crashes and you'll blow up like a water balloon. Now, you're a bloated cell in a pipe just like most of your neighbors and you and your fat neighbors make a bottleneck that's going to choke down blood flow. Next, every cell that you supply browns out because you reduce the oxygen supply. Your brownout will last until you recover because you're vascular inflammation. The brownout is a group of cells with reduced energy because of reduced oxygen. Cells in the brownout area are still alive. They look normal on medical tests except they're in survival mode running at 1 19th normal power, making a lot of acid smog in an area shadowed from the immune system. Brownouts are bad because they accelerate your aging as energy stressed cells will wear out faster. They create a safe haven for disease with low energy acid stressed cells shadowed from the immune system. They acid shift your whole body pH as lactic acids replace CO2 needed for normal acid alkali balance and cause fatigue because these cells are stuck in low power at 1 19th normal energy. So what do you need to recover? That's simple. Just oxygen. But you yourself are blocking your own oxygen supply because you're bloated. And that's why vascular inflammation is chronic and lasts a long time. It's also why health issues triggered by stress last a long time and only recover after some kind of super oxygen event, if ever. So Visualize unclogging a bottleneck made of balloon cells like you. How would you do it? That's simple. Squirt super oxygenated plasma through the bottleneck pipe. So let's go back to thinking like a plumber. There has to be enough oxygen in the blood plasma to fix your choke and there needs to be enough squirt power for that oxygen to reach you. So without enough oxygen and without enough squirt power at the same time, it just won't work. So let's think about back in the real world. It's a simple recipe. One, breathe hard with as much oxygen as possible to supersaturate the blood plasma. Step two, exercise to your best heart rate to squirt the plasma through the bottleneck. Now that sounds like turbocharged exercise to me.